even before these Cambodians cast their votes, they know who the next Prime Minister will be. There are 20 parties to choose from, but only one real contender. I think Prime Minister Hun Sen will win the election. The ruling CPP party will win. Hun Sen is the longest serving Prime Minister in the world. And after 33 years of leading Cambodia, he was assured of getting another term in office. During his rule, Cambodia has become the sixth fastest developing economy in the world, and his supporters say he has helped develop their nation. I love Prime Minister Hun Sen because he helps to build a lot of things for the people in the provinces. He builds schools and helps the poor people. But his critics have accused him of launching a crackdown that has shut down independent media, expelled human rights organisations and destroyed his main political opposition, the Cambodian National Rescue Party. Voter turnout has become a key issue in this election. The outlawed CNRP has called for a boycott to this vote. But the Prime Minister says those calls are illegal and says anyone who doesn't vote is destroying democracy. It seems that for Hun Sen and the ruling CPP party, uh, more is better. They want more voters coming out. They want more parties on the ballot because they think that makes it look like democracy. And they want more observers to try to give it legitimacy. This is the game that is being played right now. Human Rights Watch says voter intimidation is one tactic that's been used. Uh, we're hearing from rural areas that commune chiefs are telling local villagers that if you don't go to vote, we will not support you with any of your document requests, things like family books, which are really critical for the, the daily life of Cambodians. We're hearing from um, uh, Tuk Tuk drivers here in the capital that if they don't go vote, they can't get in the queue for a hotel or a mall, uh, you know, so they can't pick up the, the passengers. This vote had been condemned by some Western states as a sham before it even started. It's widely believed Hun Sen is now grooming one of his sons to take over as leader. But he'll have to wait a little longer. His 65-year-old father is showing no signs of wanting to hand over power yet. Caitlin McGee, TRT World, Phnom Penh.